In the centre of the hall, there are freestyle demonstrations by some of the country's top tricketeers. Here's probably the most famous trick team anybody knows. Mike Pardon and Andy Preston doing what they do best. And there's Mike doing it very well. Excellent stuff, and you can see the crowd loving it. And afterwards, of course, the obligatory autograph signing. Kids queuing eight deep at the railings to get the names of the UK's very first trick team. As idols, the younger generation could do a lot worse. Here to show you today, they're going to be taking you through BMX Freestyle, and here they go. I think they're absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Preston and I've been doing BMX for four years. Hello, my name is Mike Pardon, and over the next few weeks, me and Andy will be showing you how to do these difficult stunts properly. Now then, there's a few points to remember when doing this. Now the first point, and most important I would say, is to have a well-adjusted back brake and to keep two fingers on the back brake, as you can see I'm doing there. Remember, safety first, and this is very important when using the trick. Now as you can see, I'm using a fiberglass helmet here. Also, I have a mouth guard which protects your face from injuries or spills. Now I'm using nylon pants which are padded in the knees which give you ample protection. And also, it's most, most essential to use a long sleeve jersey. Um, now you're going to do some tricks for us uh, which you can do in a confined space. Do you want to have a go at those? Then? Yeah, okay. Right, the first trick I'm going to show you is a 360 walk around. This is quite a simple trick. You can do it sort of anywhere. I mean, I've heard of kids doing it on the pool tables, you know. If you've got any balance, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just that's all it is. It involves balance. Yeah, and you can do it in your front room, can you? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the next trick. This is called the wheel stand. Now, this is one of the most basic tricks you can do on a BMX. That just involves just getting the bars between your legs, take a hand off to make it look flash or whatever. Yeah. And that's balance again, is it just uh, the main Yeah, thing? most of these are balance tricks. Right, now the third and final trick. This is just a lay down. This is one of the most basic ones. Just lay the bike down, pull it. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Don't let me near that bike. Okay. You've also got a competition for us, haven't you? Yeah, now the competition is who in the, mo in the whole world would you most like to be on a tandem with and why? BMX is coming into the Olympic year now, 2008 BMX is going to be a full medal event in the Beijing Olympics, um, so there's a massive emphasis on this sport again. The younger riders now as compared to when I was, uh, when I was younger, they've got the Olympic angle so they can actually you know, really become a professional with very good opportunities in the future so Jack and Jacob here can um, hopefully aspire to be, you know, to be British, UK, Olympic, you know, world champions even. So there's great opportunities for them, you know, and it's a very, very healthy time for the sport. Just need a helmet and gloves and go along to your local track. Um, you'd be surprised when you open your eyes, you know, there is actually quite a lot of local tracks now. Um, you'd be more than welcome to come and try racing. Well, fair play to Wigan, Wigan Council and the Leisure Trust and that, building this park. 
It's a really good facility. It works well. It's in a location, I think, where most people can, you know, can get to use it pretty easily. It's close to the town centre and it's accessible by anyone. What it really does is um, something like this as well in the location that it's at. It breaks down a lot of barriers because people can come up and they can, from whatever walk of life, they can, especially in a park like this, they might be walking the dog or they might be here to play football on the, on the pitch, but yeah, they can come here and watch people on a bike or a skateboard doing like amazing stuff and plus this park's breeding a lot of local kids that are really good so it's bringing in a lot of different people from all walks of life you know to see this facility and, and hopefully to enjoy it as well. Tomorrow morning is the time for the next heat of BMX Beat. Now! Brilliant that BMX. No!